Welcome to another episode of Play, Paper, and Popcorn. Today we're going to talk about a movie and we're going to call this Different Views. And this is where me and Eric have watched the same movie and feel differently about it in some way. Whether that be forced differences or just natural differences, we just feel different. And today we're going to talk about the movie... Tall Girl. Tall Girl. So, right out of the gate, let's just say it's not a good movie. It's not good. It's, it's not a good movie. It's, I think it tried really hard to be kind of a high school cute uh, well, type of movie. Well, it took place in a high school. Yeah, but I think, I think it had some, some tones of like, this could have been a cute thing, but they just went a weird direction with everything. Uh, something, some things felt really awkward to me, like insanely awkward. Yep. Um, so, right out of the gate, there's a girl, I don't remember her name. Tall girl. Tall girl in the movie is a... Tall girl. Tall girl. (laughs) And the whole movie goes about her just being outrageously tall and people picking on her and making fun of her her entire life for just being tall. Yeah, first world problems. Which I don't really think, first of all, I, I don't really think that's really what happens all the time. Maybe if she... See, my problem, maybe if she shut up about being tall... Instead of mentioning it every 30 seconds, yes, she would not, that people wouldn't be like, you're really tall, because she's just, all the time, she's like, everybody makes fun of me because I'm tall. But the, the joke I'm was, so tall. The constant Nobody joke was, else is tall. how's the weather up there? How's uh, the weather up there? How's the weather up there? Like, nobody's going to do that. But, They're going to make better jokes later on. I was literally yelling at the screens at some point, like, crush them. <laughs> crush them with your giant hands. You're so hands. big. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> just, just, just reach and pick them up. And like, no, tiny. <laughs> but... It was not a good movie. So, where did we like it and where did we not like it? Okay, so, the reason we're doing this video is because I called up Mike and complained for like 20 minutes. Because everybody in the movie is bad. Like, all, like, like not just bad actors. Like, the, the evil chick that makes fun of her is awful. The, the yeah, the, like the, the only... high school, the popular high school girl. Yeah, she's trash, and like her friend, she has she has this black friend who's like on top of stuff. Like she's like very supportive mm-hmm. and great, and then everybody else besides her sister is horrible. And her sister, All of them are bad. Surprisingly, was like she was like the pretty sister that in most movies she would actually be like be the, the evil stepsister, right? Yeah, but she was. Insanely nice. Yeah. Um, very yeah, she was caring. literally a beauty queen, and she didn't treat people like trash. Yeah, and she had her she had her flaw that she didn't care about, and I think that's the difference between the tall girl who ha- also had her problems, but she cared about it. Mm-hmm. Whereas the other one, the 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 princess, the beauty pageant girl, she had her flaw. So, but yet owned it. So what I complained about to Mike for twenty minutes was that people kept doing bad things, and then at the end they're rewarded for it. See, like, and like this they is would where do, I differ. They would do bad things, like her little crappy friend, supposed friend, who's pining for her and being like, oh, why don't you date me? Why don't you date me? She's very Which obviously I- verbally said, like, I have zero interest in you. And then he goes behind the ah, scenes. hold on. Can we... Oh, sorry. You finish that, okay. and then I'm going to talk about my point on that. So he goes behind the scenes, and he's manipulating her life. And she, he knows that she's unhappy and depressed. And he doesn't care because he's not with her and he wants to be with her. So he's like poisoning relationships behind the scenes to get what he wants, which is what she's verbally said multiple times is no, I'm not interested. And see, I think that's differently. Now what I find in the movie that everybody at some point is a jerk. Everybody in this movie, absolutely except everyone, for her except friend for with her the friend with the dreadlocks, the, f- the funky hair and the and the the pretty sister, the the beauty pageant sister. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody else aside from them, all have a bad moment in the movie. Every one of them, but I think also for a reason. And and what I feel about, and we'll talk about each one. But the one I want to focus on right now is the little dweeby guy that's her friend, uh, and supposedly her friend. Now, friend. What I think is he saw, uh, and I don't want to get to the end of the movie quite yet, because we're going to talk about that whole scene and why I think that's important. But the part where he turns into a jerk is because he gets a moment of jealousy. I don't think he's a jerk otherwise, but jealousy is a monster that can grow inside of you. And because he's had this this, uh, pining over her, this lifelong love for her, it 
created a moment of jealousy. Now, he made it up to her. He apologized to her and said, I haven't been a very good friend. He realized he ever, his wrongness. Did he ever say yes. with his words? I was not a very good friend. When he gave her the shoes, the high heel shoes, he said, I wasn't a very good friend. So I wanted to give these to you so that when you're older and you find somebody that you're in love with and someday you want to go on a fancy date. Okay. See, I literally, think he... Literally 25 seconds before he gave her the shoes, after her telling her him for years that she wasn't interested, he was stroking her hair in her sleep. That was the moment. That right? was like 25 seconds before this like redeeming moment where he bought her like big hooker boots. Like big hooker heel. Well, hold on. And there was a reason for that because he had to go to a drag store because uh -huh. he couldn't find 13 size men, uh, size 13 men's shoes mm -hmm. that would fit her. So he had to go to a, to a, um, a, a drag, drag queen's shop. A drag shop and buy size 13 men's heels. Because she said, uh -huh. I always wanted to wear heels, but you cannot find them. So I felt like, and I don't think it was a, I don't think, it, I don't, I didn't take that as a creepy, like, mm, she's sleeping, it's so nice. It was super creepy. But it was just even like. She, she even comments on it. She wakes up and is like, what are you doing? And why are you like, stroking my hair? And then he's like, oh, well, your mom said I could come in. And she's like, she didn't tell you you could stroke my hair while I was sleeping. I'm like, that's a really good point. Now, he touched her. And to be honest, if I found you sleeping, I would have to stroke your hair, too. Yeah, We've but it would be funny. For a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wake up and be like, this is weird. <laughs> what are you doing? Stroking now, your hair. Oh, again, okay. so, so the difference is I didn't find that part as, as so much creepy as it was just loving compassion for a friend at that point. Because I feel like at that point, he kind of just, um, he kind of went into his... I understand that I'm not going to be with you, and that's okay. Yeah, but it only took 15 years. Ah, and see, I have a different reason for that. We'll get into that when we talk about the very end of the movie. Okay, but we're getting, so, we're getting into some stuff where I'm like, the end of the movie. Okay, yeah, I know. Careful, careful, because that does matter. So uh, we missed the whole... We didn't even talk about the sh uh, exchange student. Which we're going to talk about now. There's an exchange student, very handsome man. Where he comes from, he is considered like the dweeby I think he's guy. Swedish. He's uh, what did I say? You didn't say where. Oh, he's Swedish. There's a <laughs> Swedish. Um, uh, what is he called? What is it called? Exchange student. It's foreign exchange student that's going to come down and live with the dweeby guy. Now he says in Sweden, where he comes from, he is like the dweeby guy. But in this school, in the in the states, he's like. Whoever's the most popular, handsome man at the boy from Sweden school, he's like him. And I forget the name. It's a very weird name. Um, it's a Swedish name. I'll, I'll we can't it on pronounce the screen. it. Yeah, I'm not going to even try. But so he realizes that, holy, I'm the guy I've looked up to. I've idolized well, the, the from school. The tiny little... The dweeby guy pointed dweeby this guy. out to him. So he was kind of helping him. I, I, you, you keep calling him dweeby guy. I call him creepy guy. Okay, I'm gonna. He's work. creepy guy. I'm gonna see. He had one moment where he touched her hair, and he I don't think creepy. that was creepy. No, so. well, then you get to the end, and it was all. It was all. Creepy. Ah, no. See, that's where I'm gonna change your mind, sir. Mm. Um. So uh, he's a creep. Change my mind. I w I absolutely will. So. Um, and then he, the Swedish guy, very very popular, starts to fancy and really start liking, um, the tall girl, but he ends up going out with I think her name Ashley. What, what's the tall girl? Is the tall girl's name like Danielle or Andrea or something? I don't remember her name at all. It, the movie wasn't really good enough for me to get into any characters, yeah. even slightly. I think that I think the Swedish guy's <laughs> name was Stag or something Steve. like that. Stig. No, it was like Stig. Stig. Some kind of Swedish. Stig. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I think the dweeby guy's name was Donkers, or he kept on calling him. That was his last name. Yeah, he kept on calling him Donkers or Donkey or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so anyways, the Swedish guy, um, he really liked tall girl but he was dating this ashley girl whatever the most popular girl in the school was yeah so um but he still really liked her so he accidentally cheated on his girlfriend well, but, the but first girl. but first okay first tall girl likes the guy but she she has like a ponytail that's the only difference like, like they, they made it seem no like she, they, they, they made her seem like she was super ugly she was still like a six foot three tall supermodel person and then they put makeup on her and then she was prettier but she was already pretty it wasn't like she was weird looking 
No, with the norm, with the normal. No, stuff. she wasn't anyway, so weird, they, and I so, can, I can see how the makeup really did make her brighten up. And you know what? And it gave her, it gave, her, gave her confidence. Yes, the sister and the mother took her out and went right, beauty right. shopping, right? And, then, and it gave her confidence. It's not the makeup that made her beautiful. It was the confidence that made her beautiful right. at that point, right? And, and he so, had, he had uh, the uh, to the to the exchange student's credit, he had already noticed her across. The cafeteria before she put the makeup yes, on. Yes, absolutely. The makeup was not important. Now, I mean, I like when my wife gets dressed up and, and gets all fancy. It always looks nice. She doesn't need to wear makeup. But it's when she does, she looks that extra little bit of care to it. Right. Um, that extra try. And I think that's and all was, that. I think that's all the makeup really was. Yeah, it was mostly a, like a confidence booster. Yeah. So anyway, she goes on a date with a uh, Swedish guy. Um, and they end up kissing, and then they talk about kind of being in a, in a relationship after a couple other things happen. Well, because because he because the evil, crappy, mean girl, it's like swooped in and like the tall girl had no self confidence because everybody said how's the weather up there. Apparently, that's a real that's a real confidence, confidence killer. Um, but uh, yeah, the the mean girl like swoop, swooped in and and like they immediately started dating. And then she was kind of pining for him, and then saw him in the in the piano room, and then went in there, and then they played the piano because she has giant hands. That she talks about this. She talks about being giant all the time. She's like, I got big man hands. I can play the piano like a big man. <laughs> and then they kiss, and then I forget. Yeah. They kiss, and then they start talking about, like, kind of being in a relationship. There's a couple more scenes in here where they try to make each other jealous because he's with this Ashley girl, whatever her name was. Oh, okay, yeah, and that, and was, then, that was a perfect example. And then there was a guy who used to make fun of her, started liking her now. He's like, oh, she's really hot. When but he, he started wearing makeup. He mentions how confident she looked. He's the one who mentioned she looks confident. She looks happy. He See, such, you're, you're he missing, such a little, I think you're missing these little, little tiny toad. bits. He was a toad. I, he wasn't. During but. that part, like, like the, the mean girl walks over to obviously get her to stop pursuing her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And comes over and is like, hey, you know that guy that treats you like absolute trash for the last 15 years? He thinks you're pretty now. Yeah. And then she goes, they go to an escape room and like they've all paired off. And the dorky kid has like an Asian girlfriend now. Who I liked. I thought yeah, they she were was fine. together. She was good. And, and like they've all paired off. So they got Stig or whatever with the mean girl and then the Asian girl with the, the creepy, creepy guy. Creepy guy. And, the, the, and then you got the mean guy with tall girl. Yeah. So then mean girl kisses the Swedish guy in front of her to piss her off or just to be like, this is mine. So she kisses... No, I she think they were She kisses just, well, the, the guy that's mean to her to make the Swedish guy jealous. And my problem with this movie, a lot of it boils down to, if you watch this with your kid, if your kid is bo a boy, you should probably say, like, hey, don't be a skeezy douchebag. Girls don't like that. Or boys, whatever you're into. And then if you're, if you're child is a girl you should be like don't take this crap because she she makes the swedish guy jealous by kissing this other guy and it actually works and that's not how real life works they mentioned this in the movie though that's another thing you're miss you missed from the movie they, i was just too, they, too busy yes, smacking exactly my going, oh my god you people they wrap all that up in the end well we can't talk about the end so i yeah. know so okay that's so, your rule but your 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 point of the whole movie on how you think it teaches people that they can get away and they get what they want by being jerks or douchebags it's not no, but it's, it's not, not that at all. Not, that's not, even that's my, not what you learn from the movie. That's not what the movie. That's not what I'm saying. The movie is about. No, I'm saying that they were, they did a bad job, because they made a movie rated at PG, right, that teaches kids bad ideas. Okay, let's let's get into that at the end of it because I think I think I'm gonna change a little bit of, maybe I'm not even trying to change your mind. Just my no, opinion just on it. My perspective is different on what I took we're out just, of the movie. We're just talking. So. The Swedish guy, then he goes to a party, and what you learn from this party is, well, he's supposed to, he's supposed to. Are we to, going towards the end already? All right. No, well, not the very end, but I'm trying, I'm just trying to get to everybody's shittiness. That's the whole point of right, this, right? right? I want to get to everybody's shittiness. The Swedish guy makes a promise to tall girl that he's going to break up with his girlfriend, and he's going to meet them at the sister's beauty pageant. He doesn't show up. Right. So she shows up to a party that they were supposed to go to after that, and he. Oh, and, she, and not only that. She was, he, because they got back together, I don't know if it was in the piano room again, 
Oh no, she came to his house because they were gonna watch a movie together, and then that. That that's after cre- they kissed. That or that's that was before they kissed. They kissed on that one. Yeah, because that that the creepy kid came in and like tried to derail that whole thing. So that was another derailment tactic of like yeah, derailing her whole because thing. of his jealousy. So, so yeah, they. She she was told I don't remember when by the Swedish guy that at this before this party, she was gonna break he was gonna break up yes. with the mean girl yes and meet her at the pageant and and go and to the pageant the with her and then go to the party yes. and they'd be boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, so, but he doesn't show up at the pageant. Uh, she goes to the party and he goes, oh man, I've been helping donkers with this party all day. I haven't had a chance to do it. I didn't make it to the thing. I lost track of time. And she said, have you talked to uh, the the popular girl yet? And he goes, oh, I haven't had a chance yet. So tall girl gets mad at that and she leaves. Right. What she learns later from the dweeby guy is... Well, no. Because, oh, her friend sent her a video. No, the, the Chinese girl with the, the glasses. The Asian girl. The Asian sent- girl... Sorry, yeah, not Chinese. The Asian girl sent her a video from the, that she took at the party where Swedish guy was trying to go around because he was feeling the popularity and he didn't want to lose that because that was something he strived for, something he never had in his real world. So when he went here and he was popular, he was like, oh, no, I never liked her. It was just, you know, it was... It was all a trick. It was all a trick. I really like you. And and then Donkers stood up and and because uh, they were all laughing about... And he attempted to beat up one of the guys that were just... Blindly making fun of well, because um, like goes, making fun of well, tall girl because he goes after the Swedish guy, yeah, physically and, but the, and misses, yeah, and then fights the mean guy, yeah, and then gets a black eye, and then he told before she gets this video, he told tall girl that he got the black eye from falling. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want her to know, so he didn't send her the video. He didn't want her to know that he was basically what? standing up for her right. um, at a party where she wasn't even there. It's not even like he was doing it for benefit. He had no benefit, no, no, nothing, no gain out of that. He just did it because he really likes her, and I like that aspect of him. Um, so then, who it was else? one of the few redeeming things he actually did, yeah, or, or the I, only redeeming thing he did in that movie. And I think you will understand a little bit more when uh, when I when we get to the end, and I tell you what I think about the end. But yeah, the, the kid's creepy. He's creepy. He's not. He, um, so then who else was in the movie that was a really big jerk? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, but not, the, but we, we also missed the part where before she gets the confidence. We don't need to. We don't need to. Wait, no, we, got, we do. They can, we do. Because this is before she decides to go out on the date with the, the, the mean guy. He's like literally mean to her earlier in the week where he pretends to be the Swedish guy, calls her up, asks her out on a oh, date. Yeah. So I wanted calls to Calls her a big, him, yeah. tall loser. And then they're like, ha, 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 ha. And then she goes out on a date with him because she has no self-respect. And she was going to use it to get the Swedish guy jealous, but I don't know why you'd be jealous yeah, I don't of this think it was. I don't think being. it was a self-respect thing. I, didn't think, I don't think it was she didn't have self-respect. At this time, I felt like she was learning to respect herself. So she, She's like Wonder Woman. She could just crush all of these people physically. Yeah. Like, she's like nine feet tall. And, and yeah. like, you know, and well, she wasn't like... But she wasn't big. She was she was a normal girl, just taller. She was she super was, tall. And by the way, she was six foot one. It's not even that tall. Everybody else was so short. Yeah, I think they literally filmed this movie to be like, With short look people. how short all these Her people dad are. Was She's like so four tall. Feet tall. He is. He's a great actor though. And and there he was a, had a redeeming thing because at the, the beginning piano. he's like he's like. Oh, your kid's got this thing and he's going to be really tall. And she, he actually like weighs the options of giving her a pill that would make her infertile to. To make her shorter. To make her shorter. And he like <laughs> turns around broke. to his four year old and is like, Hey, sweetie, do you want kids? <laughs> and she's and like, I'm like, uh-huh. You're a bad she was, She's she like, three, yeah. by the way. Yeah. And I'm like, And then the mom's just like, Haha, I'm on Vicodin. And I like beauty pageants. <laughs> like, whatever. It was just, and it was uh, the one Dwight Schrute's girlfriend from The Office. Yeah. 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 And the other guy was in like Daddy Day Camp. Um, he, yeah. was the, he was the carrot guy in it. He's been in a lot of other movies, and that's the only one that come up. I'll pretend that, that I head. know what that means. Yeah. yeah. He was the carrot guy in that movie that you said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, who else Who else ended up having one, 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 sh- one, one shitty moment? Because I think it all boils down to everybody has a shitty moment. Everybody has a shitty moment. At once, and this, Actually, the creepy. Oh, I'm going to go backwards the on The creepy this. guy has 30. He has 30 shitty moments. And the mean girl has ah, it's not has, has it's like three fif- times has he like brings up to her. 15 the, the the mean guy has like 15 shitty moments. The reason that the creepy guy his moments are worse is because he's supposed to be her friend and he's manipulating the situation behind the scene to get some yes. big tall lady and I feel, love it. And I feel it's all everybody has their moment of reason on why they do things. Who, who wasn't he shitty? he was jealous. The only ones he, that weren't hold on, sh- hold on. Let me get to everybody's thing. 
He was jealous. That's why he was shitty. Mm. The Swedish guy got a moment of popularity. So he was uh, he was feeling all this popularity and wanted to keep it. He was very uh, selfish or um, self-centered for that moment. He got very self-centered. So that's where he became a dick. Because otherwise, and he was a pussy. Otherwise, and he, he, he was really break good. Up with his f- other, otherwise, he was really, really good. But he felt this. He, he felt, was good in private with her. That was it, right? Because in popularity, he felt this this greed of popularity. He's like, I just want to be so popular here. I'm. I've never had popularity before. I need it. So he didn't want to do that because of the popularity. So he was shit because he was popular. The other guy was shit, the 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 dweeby guy. He creepy was guy. he creepy guy was awful because of a moment of jealousy. It was like jealous, but he did it multiple times. Yes, because of jealousy. But but like but only like because mul- of the Swedish. But, but you're saying a because moment, of the Swedish guy. You're saying a moment of jealousy. Yeah, they all he had, had no. Like they all had a thing that made them garbage. They they things. they all had a reason that made them or made them garbage. Except for. Her friend, yes, and her sister, yes, and even tall girl had her own moment where she was she was so driven for this Swedish guy that her friend that always had her back when she disapproved of it and tried to help her away from that with the only good advice in the whole movie she got angry, she yeah. got really really angry at her and, and treated her like garbage well, and then so, also kissing that guy to make girls. the other guy jealous was a stupid move too that was that was. Oh yeah, that well that was, that, I, I feel like that was just a lapse in judgment rather than she was garbage. She wasn't garbage. Oh, and she was also crappy. Her dad invited that tall club to the house. Yeah. And he was trying to be like supportive and she was like, Aah! and then like went up to her room and slammed the door because she was upset that other tall people were there. Well, I think it's just or, because she didn't want to be labeled with them. But I, she I is, think there's but reasons. They literally, everybody says, how was the weather up there? I think you're already labeled as yeah, a tall I know. person. So, and then... Um, but the one tall person makes a funny joke where they're like... But it's really like, funny. The, the people that are actually really garbage actually have a, mo- a small moment of clarity, I found. Except for the mean girl. No. Okay, please explain this one. Did you not hear when the Swedish guy explained, he was like, she's very self-conscious. And she was like, what do you mean she's self-conscious? He was like, yeah, she's really self-conscious. She was like, of me? He was like, yeah, of you. That's why she's always like, what, do you like her? Do okay, you but, want to be that, with her? That, that's a so reason that's not for a, that, her flaw. Right. It's not her. She doesn't, no have, no, she doesn't have a redeeming part. But she has a reason for her flaw. Again, I'm saying that everybody has a small reason why they become bad in this movie. She's bad for the whole movie because she's self-conscious. And that's sad. He, uh, The dweeby guy has a moment of... It's sad, uh, but... He, he has... Well, I don't feel bad for her sad. No. I'm not saying like we should all be like, oh, oh really poor, popular, poor, awful people. Poor should be. <laughs> bitchy, awful girl. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. But I'm saying like there's a reason. There's always a reason. We never really know. But when you look at the fine lines inside of this, you start to see like, oh, I can understand a little more. And I think understanding gives a little bit more leverage over top of something. I, 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 I understand. Important. But that creepy kid... Ah. Needed, needed to to understand that she said no. She was like, no, no, she no, be- no, 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 no. And then he was like, well, I'm going to destroy your social life. Nah. Oh, oh, you you person that never had a social life. You have the opportunity. Oh, I'll destroy that. <laughs> like, she, God, he was trash. Yeah, again, was that trashy, was a moment of, that was, that was, he was very was jealous of just the moments. Swedish, of, he was very jealous of just the Swedish guy, it was, and it wasn't 50, the whole movie would be him doing that the whole time. He did, he it did wasn't, it the whole time. He did, he did it, it was like, it was like a, a half of the movie in It was some like scenes. 95% of the movie. It wasn't. It, was. it wasn't. It was. So anyways. And then she bought an ugly shirt. Let's go to the end, oh my goodness. That was let, an let, ugly let's get, to, let's get to the prom. So, uh, finally... She goes, the, everybody's at the prom, and even the Swedish guy and the popular girl, they become prom queen and prom king. Uh, the dweeby guy was going to go with, uh, well, he said he wanted to go with uh, the, the tall Asian girl. girl. Well, he said he, wa- he but I don't want to. So he Because he's in love with the tall girl. Did the he even Asian... go there? Did he even go to the... No. Was he there? No, he wasn't there. No, he was at home because he got, he got, he got grounded because of the party. Yes. Oh, right, right. Um, yeah, he got but, a black he was gonna, the but at the party... He talks to the Asian girl. I wish I could remember her name so I didn't just call her Asian girl. Like tall girl, Asian girl, mean girl. Like I know. We don't remember any of the names. I know. A bunch of these people, they're, they're not real. It's fine. Um, but 
Asian girl sits down with him and is like, hey, you want to go to homecoming? And he's like, oh, well, I'm in love with tall girl, even though she does at no point reciprocate my feelings past the friendship level. I have a point and, I want to scream to the heavens. And she and she's like, oh, yeah, no, I noticed that you're infatuated with him or, or with her. So I'll just back up, even though this is unhealthy. <laughs> it is unhealthy. And but I get it. There's a reason. There's a reason. Okay, so I don't know where we're. Oh, it's prom. So. We're at the prom. So everybody's having their prom, they're doing all their prom thing. And then Prominent Tall up. Girl shows up in the high heels that Dweeby Guy gave her. And a really, really ugly suit. The worst. I don't even know that, what to call it. It was kind of like a clown It was, it was like an 80s businesswoman outfit with a Victorian rough. Flair, yes. Oh and my I goodness, was like, was what are you wearing? Choice. The only cool part, there was like some kind of crazy thing here where it was like... A double, like, I don't know, like, the jacket was open and then there was a cool shirt. I couldn't see I over know. the rough. The rough was, <laughs> like, I'm I'm all into, like, Victorian stuff is great. Love it. Not that. This, like, 80s power suit, like, leisure suit with a... <laughs> like, with have a Victor- shoulder pads in it. Yeah, <laughs> it was, like, the big pointy thing. And she picked that out when she got the makeup thing. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, like, she walks in all confident and I'm thinking, Which like... great. I'm, like... Why? <laughs> Why'd you well, pick that? Why is this, this the one that makes you come This isn't a fashion but, channel, but that thing was fucking gross. But good for her for being confident and wearing Great. what she wants wear to wear. You let your always flag wear, fly. Yeah, yeah. Always wear what you want to wear. Even if other people don't like it. Even if other people don't like it. It's but perfectly I, fine. I, we don't have to like things. It's great. I just didn't. I didn't see. Because they made it like a big reveal. When she was getting the makeup done. Her, she kind of did like, a little rough on the top. You yeah, you could, see, you could see the rough. And I was like, oh, cool. She's going for some kind of Victorian thing. But it's only from here up. <laughs> and like, and like they, they, they walk in. And she's like trying on, oh, that dress doesn't look good on you. And then they just show the rough and they walk in. They're like, that's perfect. I don't and I'm think like, I'm sorry. It. I'm sorry. You're both beauty queens. <laughs> At no point in that movie did the sister wear a rough. I don't think they actually liked it. So. I'm all sweaty. It's hot down here. At the prom. At the prom. Tall girl walks by Swedish guy. And he has a moment to say. I don't remember what he said. Well, but he says to like his girlfriend. Yeah, like, we're done. Yeah, we're done. And he's I, like, I, I, I really actually want to be with Tall Girl. And Tall Girl walks by, and even though she's she's fawned over him the whole time, she goes, no thanks. Yeah, like, well, I'm they, better than all, you no, now. No, but she gives a speech, but after that, he meets her in the hall to say that. So she goes, first she walks into the prom, Oh, they, they gives they, a speech. made eye contact, and a nice speech, where, where she even apologized for her so, bad behaviors. So that speech made me cringe. So hard. I cringe easily. I can't, like, I, Mike knows this, I'll watch a movie and something cringy happens and I'll stand up and walk out. <laughs> but I was, like, <laughs> I'll just, just be like, I'm done. Leave. I'm just going to wait until this part is done. I'm done. And I just sat there like this and she's saying this speech and I'm like, even though you're six foot whatever, you're going to get your ass kicked tomorrow for giving this really embarrassing, like you're telling the people that made fun of you all these years, your innermost thoughts about being tall and what it means to you to finally have your own. They don't care. They hate you. They're, they're, you're like, they, they think you're weird because they're, because you're tall. But in, like in, that's the level of people we're dealing with here. So you bearing your soul in a power suit is a bad idea. But in movie world. But and, even, and, and what, but and a, what the scene meant, what the scene meant was that she finally was okay with being tall. She didn't care anymore which about was being tall. She didn't care what people thought, what people said. Which she I was, love. She was happy in her own skin, which is a great, like, growing moment for Perfect. this character. Love it. That's why I like that scene. Love it. But they could have done it in tons of other ways. They could have had her come in. In a nice... At- <laughs> no, but no, 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 no. It's great. She got. She likes the suit thing with the rough. I don't. Whatever. But um, you hated. I did not ago. like it. I did not like it. But I don't want to focus on that too much. It was ugly. It's fine. Yeah. Um, some people think what I wear is ugly. I don't give. A um, but um, they could have just had her come in and be a normal human being for five seconds. But instead, just like the rest of the movie, she makes everything about how tall she is. And she goes up on stage. They could have just shown that she developed confidence by her walking in, having a normal time at the party. The guy walks up to her in the crowd like, hey, you want to dance? And she's like, I'm not interested. I'm too good for you. You didn't pick me. And didn't, I'm like, not going to be a backup. Than- instead of like going up on the stage and being like, 
I'm here. I'm tall. I get it. But in movie Who world, gives a sh in movie I don't world, that care. was way more. It was way more <sighs> cringy. No, in movie world, you have to do something in a, in a large reveal like that. You have to have that climactic moment where you see the growth in the character. You can't just have her walk by. Like, it wouldn't have been interesting if she's walking by and somebody's like, hey, tall girl. She's like, I'm tall. Hey, how's the weather up there? Probably the same and as yours. I'm only three him. inches tall. So this little guy <laughs> comes up and goes, hey, how's the weather up there? And then he she pulls his head off of his neck. That was not PG. And just anymore. swings him around and just throws his corpse into the crowd and then just dances. Like... I want a completely different type of movie, but and it, like, yeah, it, like clearly. I want it to turn into, I want it to be Carrie. <laughs> I want her to realize Blood she's raining. Yeah. She's yeah. not magic. She doesn't have like psych, psychiatric, psychokinetic, ah. psychokinetic powers, we'll get but there. she's just really big. So like somebody's like, Hey, tall girl. And then she just eats them and then <laughs> she absorb, you know, but but they could have so their, their energy. Yeah, and then she gets shorter. Mm. At the end. Oh, end of movie. Okay. But no, just no cringy speech. Just have her be a normal human and come in and be like, people are like, "How's the weather up there?" And she's like, "Fuck you." Uh, and then another guy's like, "Oh, you're super tall." And she's like, "Dying of fire," you know. Like I know that like the fact that a lot of other things do something does not make it better. But so many movies have this exact same. But scene. But they set it up like there's a reason. Like Mighty Ducks. There's a reason he's giving a speech. He's the coach. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, or like they're in a position. To, she wanted to let everybody know at that school all at once. So she didn't want to waste her time all anymore. The, no, she wanted she to waste telling people. She wanted to waste everybody else's time. Perfect. So she went up in front of homecoming, brought it to a complete halt, and then gave a deep, thoughtful speech For about her feelings. Minutes. Ruined the whole night. Yeah, in front of people that are going to use that as ammunition tomorrow. But in, in but in movie world they're not. So yes, in well, real life, all, like, like they were all like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no. they were all proud of her. They were all like, holy crap, she's actually like, she's got confidence. She's Maybe she'll herself. stop talking she about understood. being tall after this. So for let's, every thirty seconds. So let's get to the end of the movie and why I think dweeby guy is only dweeby guy and creepy not guy. creepy guy. Creepy guy. You mention a lot that he keeps on. Um, expressing his love for her and tr and asking her to be with him and why won't you just be with me? Now, I don't think there's too much wrong with letting somebody know you like them. There's no problem with that. Right. You should probably get some self-understanding and realize that if they turn you down nine times, maybe quit trying. Mm-hmm. There's nothing of wrong course. with being like, I think yeah, you're really it's healthy pretty. to let that go. Together. Honestly, yeah. healthy to oh, let that go. If somebody goes, no, 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 seriously not interested... Yeah, maybe just, don't be so just, attached to them. Like, yeah. expand your like, horizon. Like if they're a if they're bit. unclear the first time and like, oh no, I have a boyfriend, and then you hear that they break up with their boyfriend, and like you give it some time, and you go up, and like, they're still, me? and they're like, me? and they're like, no, like I was just being polite. <laughs> yeah, I did have a boyfriend, but also I don't want to be with yeah, you. Yeah, I, just, like, I was just being nice. Here. Um, then just just stop now. Ah, and here comes the part that I felt from the movie that you didn't clearly. Uh, Clearly. And the, the biggest break on why I think we had different views in this movie. Mm -hmm. It's because you like crap movies. Well, one, I like crap movies. I do. I truly do. Didn't like this movie, though. No, this is moments. not a good movie. Not a good movie. What I think was that he knew that she l s had feelings for him. But because she was so insecure about being tall, the fact that he was so short, it would draw more attention to her tallness. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. And they mentioned it on the bike. He was like, what? Because I'm short. She, and, and she said, she made mention of how tall would I look beside you? Because she was insecure about her tallness and he was fairly short. Okay. He was one of the shorter people. So Great. he literally saw, he literally saw the fact that she liked him, but she was so insecure, she couldn't get past herself to find him. So two two things. Done. Two things. Done. Video done. No, two things. Two things. So one, he should have just listened to what she had to say. She just said no a bunch of times, and then he should have enough self-respect. If that's what was happening there. That would have made a good movie. Have like, oh, I, can't, I guess I better not like her. And then the movie just ends because it doesn't matter No, but I'm anymore. saying the movie, the movie like, sucks. The movie has to show the long, the no, long but stretch she, to He could have grown as a person... And like at the end of the movie, he another did. tall guy. So this is this is how I would have re rewrote the movie. Ready? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So 
at the beginning of the movie, they talk about how he carries his books to school in a crate. Yes. And she's always like, that's so weird. And then he... Which, by the way, I don't think constantly, she actually mentioned it at She all. does. She does at the beginning. Did she? She does. I thought she only mentioned it when, at when the you end first when it mattered. Him, when you first meet him, mm. they, he walks in with the crate. So he, she tells him no all the time, no matter what the reason. Like, one, if, if it was that he's waiting for her to get self-confidence and he knows that there's some kind of secret love, even though she's never shown it once, there's not a point where she, like, you see him, like, She's like looking at him the same way she's looking at the other people. Because of her insecurity. She shut that down. She shut it off because of her insecurity. But they could have had, you can't do that. That's not a real thing. So so, like if she had feelings for him and was not pursuing it because of, they should have put in little bits where you see that. She mentioned it. On the bikes. She mentioned, how would I look? How would I stand out when I'm dating you? But that could just be nice. Yes, that could be a nice thing. Just be like, you're a turd. I don't. nice thing. I'm taking well, that's that's nice. It's felt. good. I'm a pessimistic motherfucker, and I think that he should have listened. And if that really what was happening there, even though they didn't show that in the movie, he should have had enough self worth to be like, okay, well, this is if you can't get over the fact that you're tall to date me, then obviously the feelings aren't that strong in the first place. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I think so that's kind of he's got this crate and he carries this fucking thing around through the whole movie. You're gonna have to bleep a lot in this mm-hmm. video. Um, He's got this crate, and he carries all his books to school in it. And at the end of the movie, she leaves after giving this empowering speech. Well, embarrassing speech. It's supposed to be empowering, but it's embarrassing. And she goes to his house, and she she, she goes there and is like, Hey, person that manipulated my social life and creepily stroked my face while I was sleeping and wouldn't take no for an answer, I want you now. And he takes out his crit and she's like, he's like, she's like, how are we going to kiss? And he's like, I'm ready for this. And takes out the crate and puts it down. And the reason that he was carrying around the crate the whole time was to kiss her. Because he knew she would come around and get over her insecurities. He knew. She didn't just go, oh, I guess I'll like him because he <laughs> manipulated everything. She came into her own light real and became, became confident with her tallness and then allowed herself- Then she should herself, have met a nice person that wasn't And allowed manip- herself to come together with her actual feelings. He was so and creepy. And he was waiting the whole time for her to come around to what she truly felt. I think that's what the producers and directors were trying to make you think. I think you're giving them too much credit. They had no idea what the hell was happening. I, I do. I do. Uh, I sometimes. Don't, sometimes they didn't. Sometimes, sometimes they, they clearly didn't. didn't. They clearly didn't. Like, yeah. But like, he was a bad person. He did lots of bad stuff. And then she's like, that's fine. I'm tall. And then he puts down his creepy crate and gives her a big fat smooch on her big tall head. <laughs> and and it's like and then it's like the end. Yeah. And I'm like, that's the end? See that's the end? Okay, so so we're just cool with this. So like it's like you should talk to your kid and be like, if you're watching it with your kid and be like, don't date the creepy kid that wouldn't take no for an answer if he has a crate it's probably not for kisses he wants to put your head well, in it in real life that one. doesn't happen yeah well but like, seriously <laughs> like, yeah, nobody carries around a crate and I'm just like it's just so it's such an unsatisfying because really she should have gone to the house and been like you're not a very good friend you manipulated this entire thing behind the scenes you should go kiss yourself with your crate also it's a movie she didn't see behind the scenes but Realistically, I, I look at it in a different way and I see as everybody was fine in their own way, but they all had some... Except for the mean girl. Uh, who, who unfortunately, she was very self-conscious because she wasn't raised very well. So she was very self-conscious and wanted to hurt others, which is what a lot of people actually do. So if I pull any moral out of this, it's... If you feel badly about yourself, don't hurt other people. Don't be mean to other people. If you have a moment, moment of jealousy in your life, don't hurt other people. Okay. Don't let that out. Don't hurt people with your jealousy. If you have uh, the ability to be popular, don't stab people in the back to get popular. That's what I think you can take out of this. Everybody okay. had their moment. You can learn from each one of them. And they all learned at the end as well. They all learned except at the end. Except for the mean girl. Um, except for she the mean girl. She just learned that she's alone now because she sucks. Yes. Which I think that's a lesson all in itself. Yeah. If you're going to be that mean and that rude, 
you're going to lose a lot so, of friends in your life. Here's what I take from this movie. Don't do any of the things in the movie. Teach your kid not to do or accept any of the things. In I'm the not going to tell any adult what to do. Well, no, I'm just saying like, but, like the people that made this movie and got it rated PG obviously didn't think of the impact it was going to have on young women and young men watching the movie where it's just like, yeah, man, if she doesn't like you, just do really weird manipulative shit behind the scenes. And eventually she'll kiss you on your creepy crate. And, she and then, <laughs> and then it's like, and if you're a girl, you know what you should do? Just take the shit. You know what you should, you just take, take it, just take it. And then eventually they'll be less crappy and you can kiss them when they're on their creepy crate. And I learned from the movie that they all they all learned from their almost they all learned from their mistakes. Except for the crappy garbage girl. Except for her. She's an everybody, alcoholic like ten years in the future. Everybody didn't grew that up, in, but... realized they were wrong, and showed that they were wrong. So I think the movie tells that itself. Like, don't be wrong. Don't be mean. That's oh that's all not very good. Unless you're mean behind the scenes and manipulate the situation. No, I don't feel that way. All right, let's let it go then. Okay, the movie sucked. We both agree. High five. We both agree. But I think, that, I think there was also some good things in it. I didn't hate it as much as Eric. But if you I guys... I think that the, the friend had really cool hair. <laughs> if you guys agree with either point, let us know in the comments. See it. It's on Netflix. I don't... don't I point it, it to my TV or don't, don't watch it. it. Save your time. We basically told you the whole thing. This We was told you the whole movie. 45 minutes. That's half the movie. You got yeah, it. You're good. Just make you're your good. decision based on what we said. Yeah. And picture what we mean when we don't talk about the actual characters and we just give them one yeah. small attribute to, to mention them through the whole video. Creepy guy. So Asian girl. Yeah. She had glasses too. Or just dorky Could have just called her glasses girl. She had we glasses. We went with Asian. Yeah. She was about the only Asian girl in the movie, so I think it worked. Yeah, well, I don't know. What was the mean girl? Maybe not Asian. She, I think she was Samoan? Spanish or something. She was probably Spanish. I don't know. I don't know. Something. She's spoken a bunch of different... Oh, she was all pretentious and spoken a bunch of different yeah. languages. Yeah. Another reason to hate her. Yeah, she's... <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. So yeah, that was good. So yeah, honestly, we did a thing. That that's how I actually felt about the movie. Mike, we did a thing, just the two of us, and it was good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs>